Today, we delve into the persistent challenge SpaceX faces with Starship's heat shield. As the countdown to the pivotal fourth Starship flight begins, the stakes are higher than ever. This mission is poised to prove Starship's reusability and safe return through Earth's atmosphere. Join us as we explore the significant measures taken by SpaceX and Elon Musk to address the heat shield dilemma ahead of this crucial launch. The paramount technical hurdle for Starship remains its heat shield, which must be both lightweight and capable of multiple reuses. This component is crucial for the spacecraft's perfection and is a source of concern for space enthusiasts. Those closely monitoring SpaceX's rigorous testing of this colossal spacecraft have likely witnessed heat shields detaching under the intense vibration of the Raptor engine's formidable thrust. Such incidents are more common than one might expect. While SpaceX has devised temporary fixes, the heat shield may not have been their primary focus, overshadowed by more pressing issues like engine malfunctions and fuel pump system concerns. Without real-world impact tests, the heat shield's durability remained unproven. The first two Starship launches didn't achieve orbit, leading to no further advancements. Consequently, SpaceX couldn't evaluate the heat shield's performance during re-entry. However, the third launch brought the heat shield's deficiencies to light as the spacecraft re-entered Earth's atmosphere. With the upcoming fourth flight, SpaceX, guided by Elon Musk, has implemented enhancements to prevent previous failures, aiming for a successful mission. Previously, Ship 29, perched atop Booster 11, underwent a month-long suspension by SpaceX to scrutinize the heat shield tiles. The newly fitted tiles on Ship 29's nose cone showed noticeable differences from their predecessors, marking an evolution in SpaceX's heat shield technology. The primary concerns include tile adhesion, thermal resistance, weight, and reliability. Yet, tile adhesion is the most critical factor to ensure. A single compromised tile could render the heat shield ineffective. Vibrations can cause tiles to clash at the edges, leading to fractures and detachment. Spacing the tiles further apart to exceed the vibration range may be advantageous. This solution could entail reshaping the tiles to a more period-like protrusion, which, by elevating the tiles, would disrupt the heat flow at a greater distance from the spacecraft's surface, potentially reducing damage. Furthermore, enhancing the surface texture to increase roughness may improve hydrodynamic efficiency akin to a shark's textured skin. Utilizing flow simulations, the ideal roughness level could be determined to boost aerodynamic capabilities. Addressing the heat shield's resilience could involve downsizing the tiles, a move that recognizes the issues stemming from acoustic reverberations and vibrations originating from the launch pad. Conducting tests with smaller tiles, particularly at the spacecraft's joints, might mitigate the vibration issues at these essential points. The incorporation of a water cooling system could offer additional resolutions. There's also conjecture about the role of mounting pins in causing tile cracks. The pin's sharpness, coupled with the comprehensive capacity of the insulation layer beneath the tiles, presents a problem. Despite the presence of an insert within the tiles, it's uncertain if it provides sufficient surface area for load distribution. Why doesn't SpaceX solely use glue or metal pins for the entire Starship rocket? The answer lies in the complexities of design and performance considerations. The nose cone and leading wing edges of the Starship are crucial for aerodynamics, thermal protection, and overall performance during atmospheric entry and flight. Using metal pins in these areas could disrupt the spacecraft's aerodynamic profile, increasing drag during atmospheric entry. In contrast, adhesive bonds create a smoother surface, minimizing aerodynamic disturbances and optimizing the spacecraft's re-entry performance. Additionally, adhesive helps distribute heat more evenly across the heat shield tiles, enhancing their thermal protection capabilities during re-entry into Earth's atmosphere. This prevents hot gases from penetrating between the tiles and the spacecraft structure, reducing the risk of heat damage. However, using glue on the entire prototype presents its own set of challenges. Applying glue to the entire front surface of the ship would be time-consuming and affect serviceability due to cracking. It would also require more fuel to run the cooling system, 
increasing the spacecraft's mass. While Starship's Thermal Protection System, or TPS, is highly advanced, SpaceX still faces the issue of securely attaching the heat shield tiles to the vehicle's body. SpaceX's approach has shifted towards refining the attachment process rather than changing the tiles themselves as they're structurally sound. This includes upgrading the mounting pins and enhancing the metal pins. Thermal tiles are typically attached via standard thinner metal pins, but SpaceX has changed the type of adhesive used to bond the heat shields, switching from a blue tile glue to a new red glue. While SpaceX hasn't disclosed details, it's evident that these efforts aim to ensure the tiles remain securely attached under extreme mechanical and thermal pressure during re-entry. The combination of glue and pins is a strategic decision. Adhesive provides a smooth surface and heat distribution, while pins offer mechanical attachment. This hybrid approach leverages the strengths of both methods to tackle the multifaceted challenges of securing heat shield tiles. While not without its issues, this method is part of SpaceX's ongoing efforts to innovate and improve the reliability and performance of the Starship's thermal protection system. The focus remains on finding the right balance between ease of application, structural integrity, and overall performance during the rigors of space travel and atmospheric re-entry. Despite numerous challenges in perfecting its thermal protection system, the Starship team has made significant strides by building on NASA Space Shuttle technology while addressing its weaknesses. Starship is designed for rapid reusability, meaning it can land, undergo a quick inspection, be remounted on the launch vehicle, and return to space. This requires a highly reliable insulating shield, as replacing the entire TPS after each mission would be impractical. Starship's heat shield tiles are similar to those used on the Space Shuttle, featuring blank tiles despite the intuitive design that reflective coatings would be better at reflecting heat. The main heat threat during re-entry isn't from sunlight, but from the plasma shock wave created when a spacecraft enters the atmosphere at hypersonic speeds. During re-entry, temperatures below the spacecraft can reach 2,300 degrees Fahrenheit or 1,260 degrees Celsius. The black appearance of the shuttle tiles comes from a borosilicate glass coating known for its low thermal expansion coefficient. White tiles are used in less heat-intensive areas, providing optimal thermal properties while in orbit. NASA's shuttle program faced significant issues with its TPS, such as difficulties bonding the tiles to the hull and tiles coming loose during launch. These problems, along with extensive maintenance required between flights, tarnished the shuttle's reputation for rapid reusability. Some of these issues had catastrophic consequences, offering important lessons for future spacecraft, including SpaceX's Starship and Sierra Space's Dream Chaser. Unlike the shuttle, which was mounted on the side of its external tank and vulnerable to impacts from foam and ice debris, Starship's design positions the upper stage at the top and the lower stage at the bottom, avoiding the specific risk. Additionally, the shuttle's complex structure required various thermal tile shapes, making the replacement process cumbersome and costly. In contrast, Starship employs a simplified design with just two main types of heat shield tiles, thinner and thicker tiles. Starship's TPS benefits greatly from these advancements, allowing it to meet the demands of rapid reusability. SpaceX has focused on creating a more reliable and easy-to-maintain heat shield, essential for their vision of frequent space travel. The company has also addressed issues from the shuttle era, ensuring stronger bonds between the tiles and the spacecraft, reducing the risk of tiles detaching during critical phases of the mission. As we understand more about the complexities of the spacecraft's heat shield, it's clear that SpaceX has made thoughtful improvements. The upcoming launch will be a crucial test of Starship's re-entry capabilities. With the advancements in its TPS and lessons learned from past programs, there is hope that Starship will deliver a strong and successful re-entry to Earth with Starship. What do you think, though? Will SpaceX finally succeed in making the perfect TPS before Flight 4? Let us know in the comments down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more space updates.